<laughs> so that happened, and it's not really nice. And then I had a panic attack in an Uber. Oh. I know, not recommended, two stars. <laughs> They actually call you up if you give them two stars, by the way. Anyway, uh, I had a panic attack in an Uber, and then I got home, and it was about midnight, and I did something that I never thought that I would do. I got in touch with the Samaritans. Now, I've had quite a sort of stoical upbringing, and the idea of getting in touch with the Samaritans because you're feeling a bit sad is just ludicrous. There's like a voice in the back of my head, the Methodist voice of my upbringing, that is saying, oh, it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. And it is a bit much. But, I mean, you can tell it wasn't that dire because I didn't call the Samaritans. I just pinged them an email. <laughs> you can do that now, and you don't even have to be suicidal anymore. They've really relaxed their policy. <laughs> you can just get in touch if you're just a bit sad that, like, Harvey Keitel is doing insurance adverts, or, you know, if you're just a bit... If you're just a bit down that Ryland still exists, you know, you, you can call them up. Um, so I came to writing the email. This is all true. I came to writing the email, and obviously you have to put um, a subject title. And what do you put in the subject title? Because we all know what's going on here. Like, do you put, like, you know, sad sack number 32? <laughs> or another massive downer, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I might liven it up with a quirky song title, like Stormy Weather, or uh, maybe an Elton John reference. Like, I guess that is why they call it the blues. <laughs> in the end, I just went with help. 